Hi friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about how to add sequence in Odo. It's a quite simple procedure to add sequence for records in Odo. If an individual need to add a sequence number for every record of their model, they first have to add fields in their model and need to create a record in ir.sequence in the XML file. We can go to the PyCharm. I just created a test two modules inside my custom add-ons folder for this sequence. Inside the uh, test module, I just created a model called test model. It's a test module. Inside the test module, I just created a model called test model and i just created a view basic view for this and inside the data folder we can see a sequence.xml file this file is used to add the sequence in our order inside this test module model i just created a char field for the sequence and i write the code for the sequence after defining this function we need to create a record for this so create a record inside the xml file for that i just created a folder called data inside the data folder i just created a sequence.xml file inside this sequence.xml file i provided this code and and we can check the each items inside this the name defines as the the name means that the name of the record created in the ir.sequence model the code means that the sequence code we can provide like sequence dot service and the active is the boolean field to indicate whether it is an active or not the prefix is a character field where we can give the prefix of the sequence we can provide the prefix like ss or we can provide as ts and next is padding the padding means that the padding for the sequence number next means that next number that will use and the next is number increment number increment the next number of the sequence will be incremented by this so this is the sequence.xml file uh, after doing this just add this sequence.xml file inside the manifest. By doing this, a sequence number gets automatically generated on creating a record in the model. I just created a basic uh, view for this, uh, just a form view and a tree view. Sorry. For this, I just, for this module, I just created a basic test module, uh, a tree view and a form view and the menus and just added uh, and just added that in the manifest. We can run this code. Now we can check in UI. I just already installed the sequence test module and we can go to that test module. Next, we can click on the create button and check the sequence is working or not. I'm just providing demo and uh, saving here. Here we can see the sequence is generated and we can check our sequence we can go to the settings 
just click on the technical and here we can uh, see the sequence sequence section and here we can search the name we provided here just copy this and paste this here we can see that the sequence details here the name and the implementation and the sequence code active or not and the prefix and the sequence size this is uh, steps and this is the next number here we can see that the implementation there are two type of implementation methods no gap and standard no gap defines that there will be no gap in the number of the records for example if a self-service form is created will be numbered as ts 0 0 0 0 0 1 then the second will be 0 0 0 0 2 if i deleted the second number the form and created the third one then in the case of that no gap sequence will created the next next record as t s 0 0 0 0 2 and that's in the case of standard the standard will create t s 0 0 0 0 3 so this way we can add a sequence to the order i hope you got the idea Thank you for watching.